What a beautiful day to cook! Groovy! What recipe are we going to make? Wow, a birthday cake! Is it for mom? Oh, how sweet! She's going to love it! It's made of dark chocolate with natural strawberries. Healthy and delicious. Yummy! Shall we start? Great! Although, to follow the recipe, we need to know the numbers very well. Let's count from one to five. One. Two. It's okay, kids. Pops and I will help you practice. Numbers are used to count units. One pops, two pops, three pops, four pops, and five pops. Let's practice it with other things. Here we go. One fridge, one. There are two pots, one and two. Three jars, one, two, and three. Here are four apples. One, two, three, four. And five cups. One, two, three, four, and five. All right, now we know how to count to five. Right, kids? One, two, three, four, and five fingers. That's it. We're ready to cook. Let's make a delicious chocolate strawberry cake. The first thing we need is one glass of sugar. Brown sugar, better. Now we need two eggs. Groovy, I said two eggs. How many eggs are in the bowl, kids? Indeed, two eggs. We don't need any more. Pops, how does the recipe go? Flour, we need three cups of flour. One, two, and three. All right, Phoebe. Now, children, we need four tablespoons of cocoa. One spoon, two spoons, three spoons, and four spoons. Haha, <laughs> groovy. Be careful. Strawberries are delicious, aren't they? But don't eat them all, children. We need five for decorating the cake. One, two, three, four, and five strawberries. Great, kids. We've already learned to count to five. Now we have to beat the ingredients from the bowl. We need a blender. Uh-oh, we don't have a blender. What a problem. What do we do now, kids? How do we beat the dough? Groovy, could you help us? Kids, what should Groovy transform into to beat the ingredients? A rattle? A teddy bear? Or a mixer? Exactly, into a blender. You're splashing us. That's great. Great, it's getting really beaten. Now that the dough is ready, it's time to put it in the mold and put it into the oven. That cake looks good. Mommy will love it. But first, we have to decorate it. One, two, three, four, and five. Perfect. All we need now is a little something. What will it be, children? The cake is for mom's birthday. So what do birthday cakes have? Exactly, a birthday candle. So mom can make a wish. 
Congratulations, kids. Mom loved the surprise. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear mom. Happy birthday to you. What a beautiful day to play with all these toys. Groovy, watch out! <laughs> what a crash! Oh, what's wrong with Phoebe? Could you tell me? How does Phoebe feel? Joyful? Fearful? Angry? Or sad? That's it. Phoebe is sad. Nice try. Oh, Phoebe must be very sad not to laugh with you. Groovy, it's okay if Phoebe's sad. Emotions aren't bad. They help us to know what we are feeling. We need to find out why Phoebe's sad. What's the matter, Phoebe? Why are you sad? Oh no, Snuggles is gone. Now we understand why Phoebe feels so sad. <laughs> Snuggles is her pet, and she loves him very much. Wait a minute, but Snuggles always leaves for a while. But you're worried because he hasn't come back yet. How long has he been gone? <laughs> Don't worry, Phoebe. We're going to help you find him. Phoebe, have you looked around already? And the rest of the garden? Yes, the garden is very big and Snuggles is very small. We need help to find him quickly. Groovy, can you help us? Children, what should Groovy transform into to find Snuggles? A toy truck? A helicopter? Or a slipper? Exactly! Into a helicopter! Great! are. He's stuck in the fence. Oh, so much love. How beautiful.
I love stories with a happy ending. Phoebe has gone from being sad to joyful thanks to our friendship. Yay! Haha, <laughs> <laughs> Snuggles is having a great time. And Groovy, too! What a beautiful day to learn at school! And, what are you learning today? Ah, the basic emotions. Pops, shall we go over them again? Joyful, when a big smile is drawn on our faces. <laughs> Sad. If we can't help crying, <laughs> fearful, when we open our eyes and mouth wide, scared, <laughs> angry, if we frown and pout, <laughs> thanks, Pops. Children, did you learn them? Very, very well. Great, then. The task for tomorrow is to bring a picture of every emotion learned today. Joyful, sad, fearful, and angry. The garden is a good place to take pictures, don't you think, kids? Great choice, Phoebe. The photo will have a beautiful background. Hey, Groovy, you are finally going to fulfill your dream of being a model. Pose for us. <laughs> All right, now pretend you're super happy. Hey. You don't look really happy. Let's try better with sadness. Come on, Groovy. Hmm, it's going to be more difficult than I thought. Pops has an idea to make the photos work. Provoke Groovy's emotions, but shh, it's better that Groovy doesn't know. What a scary pose, Groovy. Perfect picture. You already have one emotion, fear. Let's continue with the next one. Hmm. That broccoli looks great. How happy Groovy is. Oh no, it wasn't for you, Groovy. You're so sad. Great! Two emotions and one to go. Joy and sadness. We only have one left to complete the album. Oh no, the camera is broken! There is the missing emotion, anger. What a pity that we can't take a picture of Phoebe, but what about a drawing? Yes, you can draw anger in the album directly. What's the matter? Don't you have something to draw with? I see. Groovy, can you help us? 
Children, what should Groovy transform into to draw on the album? A pearl necklace? A marker? Or a rugby ball? Yes, into a marker. Great. It's fantastic, Phoebe. The album is full. Homework done. You can play now. Oh, an A+. Plus. That's really something to be cheerful about, kids. Let's see those smiles. Cheer up, Groovy. You'll end up doing it well. What a beautiful day to enjoy breakfast. All right, kids. You ate it all. Now it's time to brush your teeth. Phoebe, you can play with the ball later. Now you have to brush your teeth. It's very important to keep them clean. Right, Pops? <laughs> to have clean and healthy teeth, you have to brush your teeth after every meal. In other words, you have to brush your teeth after breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Children, what have you just done? Indeed, you had breakfast. So what's next? No, Groovy, no yoga. After breakfast, we have to brush our teeth. Come on, what are you waiting for? All right, kids, let's brush our teeth. What do we need first? That's right, Phoebe, a toothbrush. And the second thing we need? <laughs> Groovy, what a crazy idea. Soap is for hands. Teeth are washed with toothpaste. That's better. Slow down, slow down, Groovy. You don't need so much. Wait a minute. Are you sure you know how to brush your teeth? What if Pops helps us to see how it's done? Please, little gentleman, smile. You should brush your teeth and gums in circles gently, just like Pops does. You don't only have to brush the teeth that are in sight, but also those that are more hidden, ahead and behind, all of them. You must take your time. Two minutes is recommended, understood? After you have brushed them all, rinse your mouth. Let's see, Groovy. you have the cleanest teeth in the whole galaxy. Phoebe, it's your turn. Practice what we've learned today. Phoebe, not so fast. Those teeth are still dirty. You haven't washed them enough. They're full of bacteria.
You think they're clean because we can't see the bacterias with the naked eye. But I assure you, your teeth are full of the little monsters. Groovy, will you help me show them? Children, what should Groovy transform into to see Phoebe's teeth closer? A pearl necklace? A magnifying glass? Or in a shower? Exactly! Into a magnifying glass! Wonderful! Here they are, ready to eat your teeth, Phoebe. <laughs> Goodbye, little monsters. Bye! All right, good job, kids. You're done with them. Now your teeth are fresh, healthy, and clean. Beautiful day to paint a picture. And what are you going to paint? Um, a ball, a bucket, and a shovel, a fire truck toy, and a dinosaur. And do you know what kind of dinosaur it is, children? But you do know what a dinosaur is, don't you? No? Pops, shall we explain it to them? Dinosaurs lived on the Earth long time ago, before humans and Martians, about 250 million years ago. There were different types, such as the Diplodocus, with a very long neck, the Velociraptor, which ran super fast, the Tyrannosaurus Rex, the most feared of all, or the Triceratops, with three striking horns, that one then, what kind is it, children? Indeed, a Triceratops. Pops, please don't tell me you're taking them to the Jurassic to paint real dinosaurs. Am I the only one who thinks this is a bad idea? I see, all right, to the Jurassic period then. Wow, how nice the Jurassic period is in this time of the year. A real Triceratops? <laughs> you already have a new friend and a model for your paintings. You can paint him. Oh, it must be the mother. We'd better be polite and ask her if she'd like to pose for us. Mrs. Triceratops, we're painting. Would you be kind enough to pose for us? Thank you very much. You'll be portrayed very well by our little artists. Earthquake! Typical living in the Jurassic period. Children, be careful. Oh, 
poor thing. You have to take him back to his mother. But how? Groovy, can you help us? Children, what should Groovy transform into to save the baby dino? Into a racket? An inflatable ball? Or a helicopter? Yes, into a helicopter. Fantastic! We have to hurry. Another earthquake could come. Well done! Groovy to the rescue! Very good! You saved the baby dinosaur! Time to go home! What an adventure, kids! Did you get a chance to paint something? Wonderful! You're great painters! Besides, you've helped someone who needed it. I'm proud of you. Groovy, you're a painting. day to dive and see coral and colorful fish. Look how beautiful the bottom of the sea is. What a nice clownfish. Hi, little friend. By little, if you practice, you'll end up swimming like a real fish. Oh, what is this disaster? It's horrible. The bottom of the sea looks like a dump. Animals can't live like this. What was that, kids? To find out, we better follow it. I can't believe it! It's a mermaid! Let's follow her, kids! She's gone in there! Where is she gone? There she is! Poor thing! She's crying! Children, let's try to cheer her up. is sad because her house, the bottom of the sea, is in serious danger because of the plastic. Plastic is lethal for poor marine animals. Isn't that right, Pops? Plastic containers that are not recycled end up in the sea and are a deadly trap for the poor fish who get caught in them or get poisoned by eating them. This disaster must be stopped. Children, shall we help the mermaid to clean up the bottom of the sea? Yes, that's how I like it. We help those who are in need. Don't worry, little mermaid. We'll help you. But children, how can we do it? There's a lot of plastic in the sea. We need something big, groovy. Can you think of anything? 
children, what should Groovy transform into to collect as much plastic as possible? A pearl necklace? A submarine? Or a daisy? Yes, into a submarine. Fantastic! With this super submarine, we'll clean the bottom in no time. There's nothing like teamwork to go even faster. Bye-bye to that awful plastic. The fish are happy. And the sea is back to its original appearance. All right, kids. Great job. You've done a great job together. Congratulations. You have helped the mermaid and all the fish. The sea is now a better place, free of plastics. Goodbye, mermaid. We promise to recycle all the plastic at home so that it doesn't end up in our oceans. Right, children? <laughs> Remember, children, say no to throwing plastic away. Say yes to recycling it. What a beautiful day to go to the beach. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> I love how you use the beach wraps, Groovy. I'm glad you're wearing light clothes. It's important not to get dressed in warm clothes in summer. It's the hottest season and the sun heats up a lot. Hmm, the cooler is too close to the sea. What do you think, kids? Is it a good place to leave it? Oh, are you going to play paddle ball? What a great idea. Ruby, do you know how to play? Sure. Groovy, you have to hit it with the paddle. Exactly, with that one. It's your turn to start. Really good, Groovy. We found your sport. Wow, Phoebe, you're getting sunburned. Haven't you used any sunscreen? Phoebe, you have to use sunscreen, always. It's essential not to get burnt. And you too, Groovy, even if you don't get sunburnt easily. Pops, help me explain to them what else they have to do to protect themselves from the sun. In summer, the sun heats up a lot. Every time you go to the beach, the swimming pool, or the park, you have to follow this not to get sunburnt. 1. Use sunscreen several times during the day. 2. Use caps or hats. 3. Protect your eyes with sunglasses. And 4. Stay in the shade during the hottest hours. For example, under the umbrella. Have you understood? Very good. Put on sunscreen all over your body. Perfect. Now we need something to cover your head. Great. And what else? Bright, cool sunglasses. You're ready to keep playing. Groovy, what's wrong? Oh no, the wave stole the cooler with our snacks inside. Oh, uh, the, the sea is dragging it further and further away. I knew Groovy. Our fridge has our favorite snack. Fresh summer fruit, watermelon, nectarine, melon. 
We have to get it back. Hmm, what can we do? I know. Groovy can help us. Kids, what should Groovy transform into to get the fridge back? A camera? A paddle boat? Or a ball? Really good. Into a paddle boat. Come on, Phoebe. You can do it. You're doing it great. Less is left. Keep moving. Very good. Watch out! A wave! Yay! It's already yours! Now to the beach! Good! You've done it, kids! Now, snack time! Under the umbrella, you can enjoy your snack without getting sunburned. The fresh fruit is the best to recharge your batteries. Isn't it good? What a beautiful day to play in the sandbox. <laughs> Groovy, that crab is so cute. Hmm, what smells so good? I'm sure it's something delicious. Watch out! Uh, broccoli. That's what smelled so good. No, Groovy, you have to wait until everyone is at the table. Why don't you go find Phoebe? Phoebe, lunch is ready. Hurry up, because Groovy is starving. Groovy, you have to help Phoebe get free. <laughs> I think that won't be enough. Hmm, I don't know if any of these transformations will work. Wait, yes. A shovel is just what we need. We can tell how hungry Groovy is by how he runs. What's wrong, Phoebe? Don't you like broccoli? Broccoli tastes great, right, Groovy? That's Phoebe's lunch. Phoebe, broccoli is really healthy. Don't you want to try it? I'm sure you're going to like it. Mm, Pops, help me explain to her how important it is to eat vegetables and fruits. Eating fruits and vegetables like broccoli is really important for our health. Fruits and veggies are our main source of nutrients to be strong and grow without stopping. We should eat five pieces of fruits and veggies a day. Groovy eats more than five. For sure. <laughs> and you kids, do you eat fruits and veggies daily? Phoebe, why won't you even try a little bit of this broccoli? Come on. If you only give it a chance, I'm sure you're going to love it. Right, kids? Oh, Phoebe can't keep cycling because she's starving. Of course you haven't eaten your veggies. Now you have no strength. Wow, 
Wow, Groovy! That broccoli made you super strong! <laughs> Don't worry, Phoebe. We can fix it later. But now, how are we going to get back home? I know! Groovy can help us! Groovy, can you help us? What should Groovy transform into to bring Phoebe and her broken tricycle home? Into a bouquet of flowers? A mop? Or tow truck? That's it! Groovy should transform into a tow truck to get back home. All right, kids. Wow, with this super tow truck, we'll be home in a minute. Look, Groovy, today's your lucky day. There's veggies for dinner, too. I'm sorry, Phoebe. Come on, Phoebe, try it. Surely they're delicious. Daddy cooks really well. See, I'm not lying. Veggies are delicious. I can't believe it. <laughs> she liked them so much that she's also eaten Groovy's dinner. <laughs> Don't worry. Groovy, there's more for you. You can repeat veggies as many times as you want. How well have you eaten dinner? With all these veggies, you'll have energy to play non-stop. What a beautiful day for gardening. Groovy, could you bring these little broccoli plants to Phoebe? No, Groovy. If you eat them all, there won't be any big broccoli. <laughs> That's better. Phoebe, Groovy, the kids and I want to see your garden. Would you show us? These kids are tomato plants. These delicious tomatoes can be eaten, num num, in a salad. Do you like salads? Believe it or not, these are carrots. Yes, carrots. Phoebe, will you show them to the kids? And what's that? Does anyone know what those veggies are called? Exactly. Pumpkins. We play a lot with them at Halloween. <laughs> Quiet, Groovy. Pumpkins are harmless like the rest of the vegetables and also great for our health. Oh, I'm melting. It's too hot. You should protect yourself from the sun before your heads get sunburned. Oh no! Veggies are also hot. Thanks for your straw hat. Nice gesture. But what they really, really need is to get water. The hose is there. Come on! Kids, kids! <laughs> children, children, children! <laughs> if you keep playing, you are 
going to break the hose. And it's broken. Thanks, Pops. Children, water is a very scarce resource. You can't waste it like that. Pops, can you help me explain why? All the living beings who live on Earth, plants, animals, humans, and some Martians, need water to survive. As more time passes, there is less water on our planet because we consume more than what is produced. This is why it's super important that we take care of the water we have. This is to say we should use it only for essential things like drinking, washing, or watering our gardens without wasting it. Do you understand? You were playing with the water and have forgotten about watering the plants. And the hose is broken now. How can we water this garden in a sustainable way? <laughs> I don't think that will be enough, Phoebe. But I know, I'm sure Groovy can help us. Children, what should Groovy transform into to save the veggies? watering can, toothpaste, or a brush. That's right kids, Groovy should transform into a watering can to save the veggies. Really good, Phoebe. Closing the tap on time to save water. Look, plants look beautiful now that they've been watered. If they could talk, they would thank you for sure. A day of hard work in the garden leaves you thirsty. But don't forget what you've learned. We have to share water with everyone and never waste it. <laughs>